Welcome back, everybody. I think this is going to be the last video in the Compact Presario series. I did want to get out some quick benchmarks to compare to some of the other machines that I've had on uh, on the show in the past. So the first one that I want to do is the Check It Hard Disk Performance, and I need to go into the Check It folder to do that. Oh, it figured out it was a Compact, and it's got a 486 floating point unit built in. Excellent. All right, so benchmarks, hard disk. Drive zero is the C drive. This is the built-in 1.6 gig hard disk. All right, so that is a pretty uh, pretty big speed improvement there. Let's go back out and check out the main system. We're gonna do the CPU speed and the FPU speed. Maximum performance level reached. That's the first time I've seen that. Maximum performance level reached. That's the second time I've seen that. 10,695.2 thousand whetstones for the FPU performance, and then 29,759 for the CPU speed. It's an 8486 at 66 and a half, and a half half megahertz. This was a favorite benchmark to run back in the day, but not really, I wouldn't really consider it all that reliable other than the fact that you have been familiar with it. This is the Landmark Speed Program. And I don't even remember what Landmark did besides make this speed. I think this was actually a marketing tool that they used to sell things with. All right, so we've got a CPU of 222.87 megahertz compared to an AT, which would be an, a, was it a six megahertz or an eight megahertz 286? And then a 586 megahertz 287. And then the video is 2,656 characters per second. All right, and then this is the newer version of Speed. This is Landmark Speed 6.0, so the numbers are going to be completely different. DMA mode not supported. Eh, okay, so it's not going to work. Let's reboot this thing and not use EMM386. All right, we have skipped all of the boot up drivers, so let's try that again. Hey, and it works this time. And like I said, the numbers are going to be different. So the last time the numbers were 222.56 and 585.58, and now they are 316 and 486. So I don't know why they're different. They just are. All right, this one is Norton Sysinfo, and it tells us all the stuff that we already know. Compact 486DX266. VGA card, hard disk, floppy drive, memory, yada, 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 yada. All right, and CPU speed is high, so we're already in the turbo mode. All right, let's do a CPU speed check. And this one shows up as 125.8 and compares to a 486DX63, sorry, 63, 486DX33 at 71.2. So not quite twice as much, but not bad all at the same time. All right, folks, there you have it. Just a quick video on what this machine did performance-wise compared to some of the other machines that you've seen previously on the channel. So right about now is where I say the end of the video type stuff. So over here on this side, you'll find some videos that YouTube thinks you might like. Thanks for being awesome.